Hey guys, so I figured I'd jump in here real quick just to kind of give you a heads up on how this is gonna go. Because my last shopping trip was a really long one. I ended up going to two stores in the end and it ended up being a extremely long video. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I just break this up into two parts and have one video dedicated to each store? So of course, like all the other ones, the first half is gonna be the actual shop with me. And then the end, I'm gonna have the haul where I show you what I picked up from there. And then in the next video will be the other store that I went to and that haul as well. So you know what? I'm, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm pretty sure you get the point. So you know what? Without further ado, let's head on to Barnes and Nobles. goodness we have a ton of puzzles here this is not good buy one get one 50% off for January I got here at the right time we have this here I love this artwork this is really cute a jigsaw puzzle with over 100 clues to spot what brand is this is that the brand Lawrence King I don't know this is a really cute image, I like that. We got an Ibu set here, 1,000 pieces. This is really pretty. I really did enjoy this brand when I first tried it. I haven't gotten another one since, but I don't know. Might be one I pick up soon. What else do we have here that I can try to reach? Oh, we have Gallus in here. That's a fun image, lots of feathers. Oh, I love the boxes. We have another Gallus in as well. This is beautiful, look at this book haven. I want to go visit there. That's cute. How much are these? Okay, I'm guessing $16.99, which is not terrible. And I do need to pick up like an actual Gallison, not the one like I tried last time from the Good Puzzle Co. So that's that's one to keep in mind. What is this in here? We have Zodiac Power. This is another Gallison set. Looks like we have a nice selection of gallus and puzzles throughout. There's so many here, I don't even know what to bring down. Check out this gallus and this is gorgeous. So 1,000 pieces. I love the artwork on this one. Check this one out. This is Piccadilly Circus in England. That's a fun image. I love this artwork. This is great. I don't know. I haven't tried a actual gallus and 1,000 piece set. That's one to think about. And we got a ton more here. This one is from Green Box. Is that what that is? Yeah, Green Box. 1,000 piece set of a bunch of birdies just staring at each other. Oh, look at this Gallison one. That's fun. I really love all of them. We have a dog park here. That's a fun image. We have a bunch of butterflies. How many pieces is this? Oh, that's 500. Hello, the sticker's right there. Open your eyes. Ooh, look at this. This is making me hungry. I'm gonna need some lunch soon, but... Oh, Jesus. They're all throwing themselves at me. What is this? 350 pieces. I don't know what this is. Oh, I see. I guess it's just a bunch of little pieces for you to just make whatever you want. There's no... doesn't look to be any actual image that you create here, but that's interesting. Looks like they have a couple of them in different color schemes. What's this one? We have a 500 piece from Puzzle Designed by Scott Church Campfire Critters. That's cute. But what's the brand here? Is that the brand? All Port Editions? I don't know. This is interesting. It's a cute image. Alright, what else do we have? We have Murder Mystery Party. This is... Is that the brand? I guess it is. I'm not really sure. That might be the brand, but we got a lot going on here. Has mysteries with a challenging twist. Hmm, interesting. This 1,000 pieces. Oh, look at that. The animal tails. It's basically, it's a bunch of book covers. Is that the brand? Remarks? Is that right? I don't know. That's fun. Got a bunch of book covers. Fa la la la. I don't know what that is. Oh. It's just an image of gift wrapping. We got this one here of just some stamps. This one looks like it's also from Remarks. We got one with a bunch of succulents. 
I like succulent plants. I have a collection of them at home. They're because they're very easy to maintain. That's another remark puzzle. Then we got ourselves some crystal 3D puzzles here. I haven't tried these before. At some point I plan to, but they also have like a little castle here and we have a Hulusi and some more down here as well. Oh, frogs, I love frogs. Look at him, he's got a little crown, how cute. And they have here some accessories as well. We have a stand and go, it's like a puzzle easel from Ravensburger. That's, that's nice if you need something like that at home. Oh, and look at here, we have puzzle mat for up to 3,000 pieces. That's massive, that's, that'll be handy. Check out this Euro graphics. I love the packaging, it's like a little tin van. That's fun. And look at this, I love this. The packaging is amazing. It's like a book, isn't that cute? What brand, this is Jigsaw Library. I love this. We have the Great Gatsby here. How much are these? Oh my god, I love this packaging. They're small puzzles. They're only 252 pieces, but I'm pretty... Oh, here are the others. We have Pride and Pe Prejudice. We have Frankenstein. Oh, wow. Check these out. We have bigger versions here. Murder most puzzling. Complete the jigsaw to reveal the clues and solve the case. This is cool. Now these are interesting because it says the full puzzle image is a secret until you complete the jigsaw. So you have really no idea what you're piecing together here. All you have is this part of the image. 1895, they're pretty up there considering it's how many pieces? 500? But I don't know. Oh my god, I love how they look like books. That's so awesome. It looks like this is a different brand though. I'm seeing Chronicle books. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I think it is called Chronicle Books, but this is cool. We have the missing will and the other one there. I love these. These are so cool. Oh look, we have a one of the Blanc puzzles here. That's a nice image. Look at that. That's a perfect place to be when it's bitterly cold outside. What's this? Lift each other higher. It's a matchbox puzzle. Look at that. Looks just like a matchbox. That's I guess that's why they call it that. Hello. This is a Gallison. That's fun. I'm telling you guys, there's so many here that I don't even know if I'm gonna get through all of these. We have another Rem Remarks puzzle here of horror book covers or horror movie covers. Actually, we have quite a number of these Remark puzzles. Look at these movie posters. That's cool. This is like a panorama, panoramic image. 1,000 pieces. Check out these. This is from Piecework Puzzles. Raz and Shannon. Got some, what do we have here? Donuts? Bagels? No, it's not donuts, it's bagels. That looks good. We have fruit here. How much are these actually? 30? Wow, these are expensive. Hmm. I wonder why. We're going to have to find out one day, aren't we? Some more of these Remarks puzzles. Different artwork styles. Look at all these random cats doing some weird things. Oh my god, look at this. That is fun. We got a bunch of animals dressed up having a picnic. My God, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I, there's no way I'm gonna get through all this, but I'm gonna do my best. Got this 500 piece here. Uh, puzzle designed by Toucan Art. What brand is this? This is from Allport Editions. What else? Oh my goodness, there's so much. This is so cool. Stitch by stitch from Gallison. Oh my goodness, look at that shop. Look at the cat. This is beautiful. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna have to pick up one of these Gallison sets because some of these images are just so pretty. Oh, what's this? Double-sided puzzle, 500 pieces. This is more like a photograph, really. Gray melon, is that? No, no, this is a Gallison, hello. There we go, oh look. So you get two different puzzles, I'm assuming? We have these tubes down here from, I'm trying to see the brands for these. Workshop, I'm guessing. These are pretty expensive, $31.99 for these sets. Two printed art inserts, 1,000 pieces. 
Hmm. Interesting. And we got a number of them here. We have one here with a bunch of random animals kind of looking petrified. This one here looks like a little bookstore or just a bookshelf. I don't know. That's pretty actually. We got this big one here. Check this out. Just a bunch of... I don't know what this is. What is that? Colorful cactuses or something? I don't know. Oh, this one is pretty. Look at that. That's just like some plants and vases. Got that one again. Got some more plant life here. And well, the rest are pretty much the same. Those are cool. I like the packaging. It's interesting, but I must say that oh $28.99. That's pricey. That one's $28.99. These are $31.99. For the 1000 piece and these are the 500 piece we have one here from professor puzzle 500 piece this is also double-sided cat cafe and dog park that's interesting so you pick which one you want to do and work accordingly look at that that's fun you get two puzzles in one set that is absolutely beautiful this is new york city the cathedral st patrick's cathedral this is 1000 pieces Oh, Clementoni. This is a brand that I have not tried before. And if I see an image here that I'm really interested in, I think I may grab it. But again, I have to I have to feel the image. This one is of Egypt. Um, oh, look at this Galson. This is beautiful. This is 1,000 pieces. Paris, France. Oh, I love this one. How much is it? $16.99 not bad we have a robin's burger here that's pretty i think i've seen someone on discord did this puzzle and it looked absolutely beautiful when it was completed we have some mud puppy puzzles here this is a 500 search and find look at this this is so cute oh my god i love this image oh this is a lot of fun 45 things to find I think I have a search and find puzzle at home, but I believe it's from Masterpieces. But this image, this is really cute. We have another gallus in here. That is really pretty. What's that one? Oh, oh, food trucks. This is 500 pieces from Professor Puzzle. $14.99 for this one for 500 pieces. It has a uh, what is this? Second Chains 500 piece jigsaw puzzle, pop up puzzle piece sorter, and poster. What does that mean? Pop up puzzle piece sorter? I don't know. Oh, I love this image. Look at that. I love food trucks. Look at those donuts. They look so happy. You know, I'm going to be here passing through all the food trucks eating something. Oh my god. I love this image. That's cute. We have some White Mountain here. We have more gallison sets these this is a foil puzzle oh god i don't know how i'm gonna get through most of these we have an ocean anatomy puzzle from story puzzle interesting and so many brands here that i've never heard of before we have gallison here with books and different shops another one these are look at the colors on this one this is gorgeous oh wow look at this the world of shakespeare this is 1,000 pieces. This is fancy. What is this? I guess the, I'm thinking the brand is Lawrence Key. I don't know. But I must say, the selection of puzzles at Barnes & Nobles. I mean, the packaging. These are like top notch. Like the selection is incredible. Look, we have a Robin's Burger here. We have some more Mud Puppy sets. Oh, wow. Check out this 3,000 piece Spongebob puzzle. This is from Aquarius. We got so much going on there. I don't know, this looks like it'd be a nightmare to complete. Oh wow, check out this Radiant set here. That's interesting. What brand is this from? Poster puzzles. Look at that. That's, that looks a little scary to me, to be honest. Uh, pomegranate. I know some of you have mentioned pomegranate before. We have one here. This is nice. Beautiful image here of a house. Most likely mine. And these run for $20.95. This one is a 1,000 piece set. That's actually really nice. I like that image. Yeah, I wonder if they have more pomegranates here. I'll tell you what though, they have a ton of Gallison sets and they're so beautiful. This selection is amazing. Look at this one. 
This one is a foil puzzle from Gallison. Sparkling City, 1,000 pieces. That's awesome. There's so many here, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We have The World of Dracula. I love that book, by the way. And The World of Frankenstein. I love that one as well. What brand is this? Uh, these are Lawrence King again. And these are spectacular images. They got a lot going on here. Probably a bunch of different scenes from the book, which is fun. Ooh, makes me want to look at the Dracula one too. Oh my god, that's cool. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh, we have a King Arthur here as well. Look at that. These look like they'll they'll be difficult. That's cool. And the world of Charles Dickens. What does this look like? Oh my goodness. These look hard. But really fun looking. How much are these? These are $21.99. That's pretty up there, but I mean, just by the packaging, they look fantastic. I think I would pay that. Starting to get a little loud in here, so I'm going to do my best. Oh, look, we actually have another one from that brand. We have the World of the Harlem Renaissance. That looks really cool. This one looks really fun. I love the colors on this. That is cool. And look at these teapots here. What brand is this? This is Gallison. Oh my god. These Gallison sets are amazing. That is gorgeous. There's way too many. We got some more Eurographic sets here, but I do have plenty of Neuschwanstein Castle images. What's this? Is? This is another double-sided puzzle here. We have one side with a glossy finish and one with a matte finish. This is cool. Look at this. We have one here. That's country mini puzzles create one giant map. This is a map of Europe. It has 37 fun shaped pieces. It's 850 pieces. Wow, what brand is this? Oh, it's Remarks again. This, this location has a ton of Remarks puzzles. Oh, look, we have another one of these The World Of images here. Oh, wow, I love that. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, look, I found another Ibu set. The Alchemist Home. I feel like I saw this online and I almost bought it, but I don't quite remember. There's just so much going on here. We got a round Robinsberger set here. 500 piece circle of colors. This is a picture of a bunch of random birds, if you like birds. I guess the brand is Sibley or Potter? I'm not sure. Potter Puzzles. There we go interesting oh look we got the world of jane austen oh my god i love these these puzzles are so much fun and they have a good selection of them i would have to figure out if i get one of these world puzzles which one i'd get we also have the center aisle here with a bunch of these tubes from cavallini and co is that what it is these are Japanese woodblock vintage puzzles, 1,000 pieces. Actually, these are not wood blocks. My bad. This is just, I don't know what this is. It feels like cardboard, to be honest. I don't know why they say wood blocks for 25 still. This is still 25, it's but it's a very nice selection of posters in the image here, which is nice. We have this one of the map of USA with national parks. We got butterflies. Um, which flowers we have, you know, a bunch of doggies. We have more of the national parks and the packaging is really nice. Check this out. These are $25. These are, these are up there, but I mean, look at the packaging. Mm -hmm. We got some more dog ones. We got some fungus. We got kitty cats. Check these out. More of the national park posters. And this is cool. This is a constellation, a celestial constellations. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Yeah. I don't know. Celestial map. This looks like it'd be hard though. I'd probably lose my mind doing this one, but this, is, this these are beautiful. I lost it before you did it. What? You lost it before you did it. I lost my mind before it. What? Yeah. Are you making fun of me? A bit. Oh, look what I happen to find on the floor here. I have some of these images already, but that means they do carry some Thomas Kincaid Seiko puzzles from Disney, which is good to know. We have this fun Ravensburger set here of the three little bears. Oh man, look at that. I'd love to be somewhere like that right now. Sitting down, enjoying the view with my wine and cheese. 
Here's another Gallison. That one looks like it'd be super challenging, but that's beautiful. I'm just like, I'm going a little crazy here to be honest because I want to show everything, but that's going to be impossible because there's just so many to look at. We got that white American Diner, white melon set, which I actually have. We have this Robin's Burger here, 500 pieces. Ah, we have a puzzle here from the New York Puzzle Company. This one's called Field Trip. It's 500 pieces. And I wonder, oh yeah, there's another one here. We have another image, 500 piece as well. We have this one here, Rainbow, Rainbow Readers. That was a little hard for me to say and I don't know why. We got that one as well. Oh, that's fun. I like that one. Oh, I really, really do like that one because I just so happen to see the word hot dog there. You can tell I'm getting hungry. <gasps> Chicken dinner. Yes, I'm starving. I need to hurry up so that I can go eat. I think that's all the New York Puzzle Company images that they have. The rest here is like kind of repeats. We do have this Buffalo Mandalorian set. More of the Gallison sets that we already saw. What else? Oh, oh, look at the Disney ones. This is beautiful. Look at this Ariel set here. That's gorgeous. This is from their collector's edition. This is 1,000 pieces. Oh my God. Look at this one, guys. This would destroy me. Have any of you guys tried this puzzle before? Because this looks insane. Looks like something that I would probably lose a lot of hair over. But it's Mickey Mouse. Maybe that'll make it better. I don't know. Probably not. We have a Pinocchio one here from their collector's edition. We have Alice in Wonderland. Snow White. Oh my gosh. The selection is unreal at this location. We have a Pixar. That is gorgeous. A Snow White again. Oh my goodness. This store is dangerous. It's a good thing it's far away from where I live. We got Pocahontas. What else? This is cute. Abandoned toy store. Oh, wow. I like that. Oh, we got another Disney with a bunch of Disney movie posters. That's fun. We got Dumbo. And that one again. My God, the selection of Disney sets is insane. And then we got more Ravensburger sets here. Oh, look, we got Frozen. It's another Frozen. That's the poster one again. Oh, we got Lady and the Tramp here. Look at that. I love that movie. And Alice again. Wow, what a selection. And they got more Ravensburger sets here. Look, we've got Winnie the Pooh. We got like Pixar posters in this one. This is not Disney, but this is Clementoni Panorama. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's a point. I haven't really seen too many Clementoni yet, and I'm nearly at the end of the puzzle selection. But look at this one. This is another Robin's Burger here, 1500 piece set. And we have some other very beautiful Robin's Burger images. We got a 3,000 here of a bunch of zoo animals. Just, you know, running wild all together. Canadian collection from Robin's Burger. Oh, wow. Look at this. this is from the Treasures from the Vault Collection. Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse from Robin's Burger. Look at this one. It's like a camper van scene. I love this. This is cool. That's 1,000 pieces. Oh, I remember this image. Remember, that's me having my tea. I don't know whose dog that is, though, because I don't have dogs. But, you know, it's a beautiful image. Got some more Robin's Burger sets here. That's a beautiful 750-piece set. Look at that one. I think I've seen someone on Discord do this one as well. Look, this is, you know, our puzzle table here. We're working on a Robin's Burger set. That's a lot of pets, though. Can imagine what damage they can do to your work, but oh, look at that one. That's beautiful. I could be hanging out there right now. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at this Gallison set. It looks like a book. This is so cool. I love packaging like this. I mean, you know, you do pay for the 
extra beautiful packaging, but you know, this nice. Makes for a nice display on your puzzle shelves. We got, that's the one we saw already. Oh, what's this? Camping trip. Let's go camping. Flower, flow, I can't read. Flow puzzles. All good things are wild and free. Look at that. You know that's me hanging out in the tent reading a book. Um, I mean, of course, look at the coffee next to me. Hello. Yes, I love this. What is this? Flow Workman Puzzles. Never heard of that brand, but I am really feeling this image. This is fun. I love this. We got another one of these book-style Gallison sets. Look at that. You know, one of these is my houses. And you guys are probably my neighbors as well. Because it doesn't make sense for me to put too many houses in one spot. Got some more Gallison sets here. You know, I have to say, I still haven't seen any more of the Pomegranate or Clementoni sets. There's a bunch of Gallisons, which is not terrible, but that's really what I came out here for. So I'm going to have to really look and see the ones that I saw and figure out, you know, which images I like. Check out this Aquarius set here. This is 3,000 pieces. A magical mystery tour of 100 Beatles songs. I love the Beatles. I grew up listening to that kind of stuff. That's an interesting image though. That's a lot going on and it doesn't look like it'd be easy, that's for sure. We got another Robinsburg here of a camping trip. This is beautiful. We have a 2000 piece Ravensburger here of a lot of random things happening, but it looks fun though. What is this? Oh, wow, look at that. Welcome to Extraordinary. This is really giving me like Universal Studio vibes. I absolutely love this. It's a classic movie. Oh wow, look at this Robin's Burger. That's beautiful. Busy city streets, I love this. Where is this? Dining in Valencia. I love that. We have this 1500 piece count set. This is gorgeous as well. Got a lot of people having a good time here. This one is called Romance in Cinque Terra. And then there's this puzzle, which I actually have, because one of you guys sent it to me. So thank you. We have another one of these Ravensburger Abandoned sets here. That's cool. That looks kind of creepy, actually. I like it. We got Scooby-Doo. We got Flintstones. We got these owls looking quite scarily at you. We got a bunch of rocks. And we saw that one already, and that's pretty much it. Now, as I said, I didn't really see enough of the pomegranate or clementoni sets, but I'm going to kind of skim through these again and kind of figure out what I'm going to go home with because, you know, I got to take advantage of this sale. So, yeah, let's move on. All right, I'm not going to lie. That shopping trip was a lot of fun. And it's actually been quite a long time since I did a shop this big i think it was actually over a year ago at this point but it was one of my first like shopping haul videos so yeah you know i kind of feel like you know going a little crazy like this was kind of long overdue but i am so excited to show you what i got from there now the number one aim of this shopping trip was to pick up brands that i do not currently have and brands that a lot of you have mentioned to me so overall, the shopping trip at Barnes & Noble's was a completely different experience because we're talking about, you know, much more expensive puzzles. So I was really, really glad that I was able to make it during their January puzzle month sale. Now, even though this was kind of like a shopping spree day for me, I did kind of have a set budget in mind. Nothing too wild and crazy, but you know what? We're gonna get more into like the cost of everything and the budget later on in the video. Let me just shut up and show you what I got. Now, before you guys start guessing what I picked up from there, I did go there with the intention of picking up either a pomegranate or a clementoni set. And unfortunately, what they had there wasn't really calling out to me. There was literally, I think only one puzzle image of from each brand so you know there wasn't really much of a selection from those so i didn't pick those up in the end because you know i kind of like need the image to really call out to me but anyways i did pick up some other brands that are very very new to me and the first one that we have here this one is fun this one is from the brand professor puzzle 
and it's called food trucks it's 500 pieces and it's 14 by 19 inches when it's completed now what i found very interesting about this set was that the back does mention that not only does it have obviously you know your your jigsaw puzzle but it has a pop-up puzzle piece sorter which is interesting because i've never heard of puzzle brands offering this in their packaging so i'd be curious to see what that looks like they kind of have like a little image here showing you what it does look like but aside from that i mean i mean look at this image you know why i picked this right we obviously got ourselves a food truck festival here and there's nothing i love more than food trucks i don't know why there's just something so exciting about them to me and we got a ton of them here we got jerk chicken donuts tacos you even got a ramen truck this there's, there's too much goodness here and what made this call out to me even more was the fact that they're even showcasing a puzzle piece here with me in it, waving to everyone, with of course a plate of chicken in front of me. I love this image. This is gonna be so much fun to put together. There's a lot going on, but either way, I mean, this is gonna be fantastic. And I honestly can't wait to see what this brand is like. Now at regular price, this 500 piece Professor Puzzle Set is $14.99. But with the sale that they were having at Barnes & Noble's with buy one, get one 50% off, this particular set only cost me $7.49 in the end, which to me is a fantastic deal for what looks like is going to be a really nice, you know, much better quality puzzle set. Now, the next puzzle set that I have here is so beautiful, and it's called All Things Are Wild and Free. It is 1,000 pieces, and it's about 26 by 19 inches when it's completed. Now, this particular set has two brand names on it. We have Flow Puzzles and we have Workman Puzzles. Now, I'm not sure which one would be considered the collection of the brands. I'm assuming Workman Puzzle refers to the actual quality and manufacturing of the pieces. And I guess Flow Puzzle is like the collection where the image is from. But this packaging is great. It's really nice and solid. My only thing with it is that the box didn't, didn't come taped. So I did, of course, you know, open it up to make sure everything was in here. It does include a small little poster for reference image, which is nice. But I mean, other than that, everything seemed to be okay. But you know, aside from the nice packaging, of course, this image is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obviously on my solo camping trip here. I probably just finished dipping my feet into the little river on the side here and just figured I'd spend the rest of the afternoon just peacefully reading in my tent with a nice hot cup of coffee nearby. This image is great. I love all the colors. I love everything that's going on here. I kind of feel like this isn't gonna be extremely challenging. So overall, I think I'm really looking forward to completing this puzzle and seeing what this brand is like. Now at regular price, this puzzle is $19.95 but with this sale this one only cost me $9.97 which again another fantastic deal for this set I, I think this is going to be some really good stuff here and for the price you can't really go wrong now of course I was charged full price for the other two sets because they just so happen to be you know the more expensive of the sets that I bought there but for the next one, I'm really excited about it because it is based on one of my favorite, favorite books. And this one is called The World of Dracula. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 19 by 27 inches when it's completed. Now, in terms of the brand, I'm, I'm not quite sure. We have Lawrence King here, so I'm guessing that's what this is. And as you saw during the shopping part of the video, there was a number of these based on different novels. But as I said, Dracula just so happens to be one of my most favorite novels. I like Frankenstein too, but this puzzle image like really got me in there. Because Dracula's castle is always portrayed as being so dark and mysterious. And I love that kind of stuff. And what I love about this image is that obviously you have all the different characters throughout the image. And like it says on the side here as well, it includes all the key scenes from the novel in incredible detail. I absolutely love this. Now, do I picture myself in this image? Absolutely not, because you know, I don't really wanna find myself in a situation like this. 
but I love the artwork. I love the colors. Of course, you know, the castle is amazing. I love this. I cannot wait to work on this puzzle. I've never worked on anything like this before. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Now, as I said, this was one of the more expensive sets, and this one was $21.99. Now, $21.99 is more than I would typically spend on a puzzle set. But to be honest, I think it's going to be worth it because, I mean, not only is the packaging great, but I just love the whole concept of this. And I'm really excited to see what the overall quality is like with the puzzle pieces. And if it's something that I really, really enjoy, I just might end up picking up the other ones that I really, really wish I could have gotten as well. Because to be honest, these make a great display in your collection. So yeah, I'm super looking forward to this one. And for the last set that we picked up in Barnes & Nobles, it is called Autumn Excursion. This one is 1,000 pieces and it's 19 and a quarter by 26 and 5 8 inches when it's completed. and. It is from the New York Puzzle Company. Now, many of you have brought up this brand to me, and it's one that has been on my radar for quite a long time now. So I was really glad that Barnes & Nobles had a number of these sets in stock. And out of all of the puzzles that were there, I mean, this one immediately caught my attention because not only do we have a lot going on here, and the colors are just look so vibrant and exciting. I mean, this image is like really cute. But what caught my eye the most here was that there's a building here that says chicken dinner. I could see myself sitting at that table there eating some nice fried chicken. And then afterwards, I can go across the street and pick up a hot dog. I'm not kidding you. That was absolutely the main reason that like made me like say, this is the one. And as I said, the image itself is amazing. I love the scenery, the artwork is fantastic, the colors are great. There's just so much going on here and it just seems like it's gonna be a really fun image to put together. And again, we have really good packaging here. It's completely sealed in plastic wrap and this was $22. I paid full price for this one. So yeah, I'm really hoping that the puzzle pieces themselves, you know, are worth the $22 price tag. So yeah, those were the sets that I got at Barnes & Nobles. Now that this Barnes & Noble shopping trip is complete, be sure to stay tuned for the next video, which will be the final part of this very long shopping day. But before you leave, make sure to let me know down below if you've tried any of these brands and what were your experiences like. And also, let me know which brands are you looking forward to seeing me try sooner rather than later. I really do need to start planning out what I'm going to do after I complete this 2000 count set which to be honest is driving me crazy. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts. But if you're watching this after I post the next video, I'm gonna leave a link to it right over here so that you could jump right into it. And I'll also leave a link down in the description box below. But make sure if you are new here that you subscribe so that you could tag along with me on other shopping trips and hear what I have to say about those brands. Well guys, I really need to get on with this 2000 count set. So I hope you are all doing well. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.